what's going on everybody it's your boy jay got the poet live in effect like i always am and y'all know where i'm at you see the ceiling i'm in here doing my sourcing and um i just wanted to show y'all what i picked up real quick uh i got a couple things that i'm putting back and i'll tell you what i'm putting back but i thought it was notable to share in the video so let's just get right into it y'all um and i'm waiting on a couple more wraps so once they come out you might have an updated video so We'll see. All right. All right. So this first one is a size medium Las Vegas tee. This one is kind of crazy because it's like embossed print on this. Um, and I just thought that was pretty dope. And I like the graphic on it. That's kind of crazy. Um, and then we got this juvenile tee. I got to actually look this up. I don't know if this is an original one or a reprint, but it feels kind of good. So kind of crazy. This next one is a Chinatown market. Mike Tyson punch out crazy crazy especially with everything he got going on right now and then this spoof of Call of Duty it's the weapons of air warfare called to duty um, it's like one of the Jesus tees um, brand new with tags um, this is what they're selling were selling it for uh, wherever they uh, were selling it at but online it's going for like 40 30 40 dollars and this i'm putting this one back this donovan McNabb jersey uh for the eagles i just don't think it would do good um last sold on ebay was like 15 bucks and then this maddox the numbers are kind of faded but that really don't matter i'm definitely putting this back too and then you know i gotta grab my polos so stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. So I found another one made in USA. It's just a simple vintage. All the fruits of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. T, that's kind of fire. Uh, yo, if you know, you know. Size large, good size. Yo, crazy piece right here. Crazy, crazy piece. And then... I know a lot of people wouldn't pick up uh, Fat Farm, but this shirt is actually doing good uh, online, so I'm going to hit this up. And I think the Obama tees are going to do good, and he has Obama on this, even though it's a Black History Month t-shirt. This is a crazy one, too, so on top of all the other ones that I got. So I'll see you on the next one. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet live in effect like I always am. And I know y'all hear my voice. I'm a little raspy. I'm losing my voice. I'm speaking a lot. I'm, I'm just doing a lot right now. And my body is, is telling me, yo, chill. But I got to keep going. Uh, but anyway, yo, so the last time we were at the store that I'm getting ready to go to, I found a Christian Dior sweater. As you guys saw in the last video or one of the videos before this one. And I decided I haven't been out here in a week or so. Let me stop by again and see what happens. So that's what we're doing. We're on our way to this location. I'm not going to tell you where, but as you guys can see in the back, I am driving. I'm driving. So uh, I'll check in once I get there. Hopefully I can uh, find something. So let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I, I got to tell on myself, I'm not supposed to be shopping today, uh, but I'm happy I did. Uh, I found a couple good things, um, some 20 to $40 tees, um, and I'll go over all of that at the end of the video. But this spot that I'm going, <coughs> excuse me, that I just came from is... Like, I'm not going to lie, it's a hit or miss. But the times that I do come out here, uh, the last three times I found something that I found like, you know what I'm saying, was was worth me putting on my racks. So um, we're going to go through all of that at the end of the video. I'm going to try to stop at one more store and see what happens. But because, look, I got all of this stuff right here. I got to go through and get ready for this Sunday. So let's get to it. All right, so I stopped at one other store and I got two bags full of stuff today. Oh my God, this is crazy. So I'm going to go to one more store before I got to end the video. And then at the end, I'm going to go through everything. So stay tuned for that. 
What is going on, everybody? So, as promised, I'm going to go through everything that I got uh, today. It's not a lot, but it is <laughs> at the same time. Uh, I guess I'll save some of the nicer pieces towards the end, but we'll figure all that out here shortly. Some of these shirts I got because they were like really good prices. They were on sale for like 75% off or whatever. Uh, but this is the Delta Pro Tag. Ezekiel 2517 and it has the verse right there a lot of people they uh, are into the um, Like the vintage uh, Christian Jesus tees and stuff like that. So I'm starting to grab those when I can um, This next one the only reason why I got it because a lot of people are asking for it uh, It is on a, another Delta Pro weight tag um, but it is the Washington Redskins uh, t-shirt. Uh, I couldn't really tell how old it was, but at the same time, it was so, the price was so good. I couldn't help but grab it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this next piece, same thing. Price was too good for me to uh, say no to. This Auburn's Tigers uh, college uh, crew neck. Very clean. I'm going to have this for... Uh, this coming uh, fall, winter months. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then the last thing I picked up from that store was uh, the Peyton Manning Denver Broncos Nike. Uh, as you can see right there, the Nike tab. So, um, and I'm sorry if it's like blurry or whatever because I'm trying a new way of filming. Cause I got a new phone or whatever and it looks blurry when I'm transitioning certain things. Um, the wifey's home. She just got here. Uh, I got this biggie and puffy t-shirt. I think it's like a small medium. I was on the fence about it at first, but I found this next shirt. And if you, if y'all in from the Richmond area, you know, if you get two shirts, it's a better deal. And I found this next shirt and I had to grab it. You know, I do uh, polo real heavy. So when I find any polo bears, I grab it. Um, so that's a polo bear that's probably going to stay local. Because a lot of guys are uh, polo heads that are clients of mine that are local. And I got this Diamond Supply uh, family guy with Brian and Stewie on here. Um... I looked it up. It's not really going for uh, too crazy of a price, but it's still um, a good pickup to have for the shop. Um, this next one, I have to look this up because prices on this thing is everywhere. 2002 Naruto. I don't know how. I don't know how to say this stuff. I guess it's the anime stuff, uh, but it's a 2002. Um, t-shirt and that's what it looks like and it is a printed tag and I've noticed that uh, there are some printed tags and it says 2002 right there some printed tags that are worth you know what I'm saying a little bit of bread so um, as I learned in that uh, where I passed up on a $100 tee and I came back and grabbed it luckily this next one is on the Fruit of Loom tag I'm not going to open this one up but it's the Ratford uh, come on, focus. There we go. The Ratford University. Let me see. There you go. Ratford University uh, vintage tee. I'm probably going to put this in the uh, Stars Kicks. Shout out to them because they always be holding it down. Uh, this next one. So it's on the ch Changes tag. Made in USA. I don't know if you can see that. And it is a vintage... Superman T single stitched all the way around. Uh, but I never found what well, no, this is my second changes tag. I can't remember what the first changes tag was, but um I thought this was dope. I will grab this and put this in the collection, obviously. This next one is from 2011. Uh Wally Coyote. You guys can see that. Um and it says super genius on here. Um, so yeah, but that was pretty dope. Uh, Y2K shirt. It's not a vintage, but it's, uh, two thousands. Uh, then we have the Rothensburg, uh, t-shirt where 
he's the quarterback and all that. So pretty dope. I thought that was pretty fire as well. Uh, so this is, uh, I might throw this in the, no, nah, I'm not sure yet. But anyway, the next few are just some polos I grabbed. So um, nothing too crazy on these. But uh, once they are ready to be sold, I will put them up and have them ready to go. Um, but like I said, as promised, I wanted to do this video of the pickups that I grabbed today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like. Hit that subscribe down below. And then also, if you made it this far, comment your best piece that I found. Um, and let's let's have a conversation. Uh, follow me on the Shop RV on Instagram, man. Let's interact that way as well. And a lot of this stuff I post on my stories before I post it on YouTube. So you can see it there before YouTube sees it. So, all right, y'all. It's been real. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Um, I'm out. All right.